Hello Capricorn, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cappies, today we're just going to do a general reading. We're going to find out what's going on, what's been going on, how it's going to play out, what your spirit guides want you to know. Let's see what messages come out today, and what's taking place in your life. Spirit guides, talk to us about the Capricorn Collective. What's going on? What is going on right now? Whoa. Okay, to be fair. Okay, I must with that. Treasure Island. Ooh la la. Okay. So to be fair is learning your lesson from something. It's becoming wiser. Whatever it was that you went through was going to bring you to your pots of gold. You're going to get the treasure here, um, which is good. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. But it's just about, you know, like letting it make you wiser. At the top of this little thing is this tiny little owl. And that's the lesson, creating your balance, right? So you've definitely been through something here, but it's going to work out amazing. What do you want to say? What's going on? What is it? What is this for uh, Capricorn Spirit Guides? And Kat, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. So if you want one, that link is in the description box below. So we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Hanged Man, but this came out first. The Seven of Pentacles, the Hanged Man. Well, it's called the Hanging Man, but I don't know why I say it like that. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords. A lot of thinking, a lot of stress. There's the Ten of Cups. You have nothing to worry about. There's the Five of Cups, but there's that worry. There's walking away from your worries, and there's moving on. All right. Let's talk about this. Let me get my clarifiers. Let, I bought new clarifiers, but I didn't like them. So I'm going to buy some new ones. I, I think I bought like 20 decks in the last six months and I don't like them. <laughs> so it is what it is. I'm going to stick with these bad boys. The six of pentacles. Um, let's see what this is all about. You have options. There's confusion. I feel like um, there was a situation that wasn't quite balanced for you. What is this? What is the six of pentacles here for Cap? What is the situation? What are you saying? The world in reverse. Knight of cups. What's this? So we have the world in reverse, the seven of wands in reverse, judgment in reverse, but then we have the chariot and the star. It came out like that though. So judgment, they want you to be realistic. They want you to be fair. So whatever the situation that was, it's a general reading, so it's going to vary for each of you. It was not a fair situation to you. Um, they want you to see that that's, there's like this energy of, of um, not wanting it to be over, not ending it, not seeing that lesson, but it is time to see that lesson and move forward here. It's about being authentic and true to yourself, creating that balance. It wasn't balanced. So if it was like a relationship, somebody was taking way too much for you. If it was um, a friendship, it wasn't a balanced friendship. You were always there for them. But when you needed someone, oh, where's Sarah? Sarah's gone. She's not even here for me. Or if it was a business, they weren't paying you. It wasn't an equal give and take. You were getting taken advantage of. I'll say that in whatever the situation was. And this is about being realistic about that and ending that cycle. Once you see that lesson, once you see how it can make you wiser, that's when you get your little pots of gold at the end of the rainbow. So um, there's a big change going on here and it's you realizing the truth of it. It's making the decision to follow your heart, to be true to yourself, to be the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups follows his heart. Yeah, there's a disappointment. Capricorn, come on now, come on now. Um, it's understanding your value. So it is setting strong boundaries, setting strong walls, knowing that wherever you were, it, they weren't treating you right. It's the same. It's the same kind of message, but it doesn't make it easy. You're still disappointed. You're still sad that, you know, that friend did that or company did that or your partner did that. But it's about learning from that understanding and moving forward in the Empress energy. So with the seven of pentacles, it tells me, too, that you're tired. You might be a bit exhausted. Um, if it's finances, you kind of feel like you're losing a lot of money. If it's love, you just feel like love is, you know, things are slipping through your fingers here. Um, ah, yeah. What do you want to say about the Seven of Pentacles hanging man energy here for, for uh, Capricorn? Because the Seven of Pentacles is a message to keep going. Again, it's like, it's you don't need to worry about this. It's going to work out. Um, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, Queen of Cups in reverse, but you're a little overwhelmed. The Tower is a big change. Um, so it's a change you didn't see coming. It's something that was a little bit surprising. It's like you kind of realize, like maybe you were sitting in the lunchroom having a conversation, realize someone below you is making more money. It's like, wait a minute, you're making 25 an hour. I'm only making 22 an hour here and I'm your supervisor. I worked for companies where that was realistic. And it's like, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? So it's like just kind of coming to these realizations and realizing your value. Um, and that takes the courage to make the necessary changes. But I see you doing it. Um, no matter how difficult it is, that foundation wasn't there for you. It wasn't the right place. Um, but the Queen of Cups says that it's a little bit overwhelming. It's a little bit emotional. It's a difficult transition for you. Um, but the point of the tower is through this adjustment and through this change, 
you get your epiphany. You get the to be fair moment, right? You get your crown chakra lit with this lightning. You get your idea. You get your realization. And you're not going to take it. You know what I'm hearing in my song? You know that we're not going to take it. You know that song? <laughs> I think it's like Twisted Sisters. Is that what it is? I don't know. Twisted something. Twisted Scissors. I don't know. But you're not going to take it anymore. It's just that simple. Um, but there's you stressed out. How am I going to move forward? What am I going to do? How am I going to make this happen? Um, and it's just having the confidence in yourself. What do you want to say about this Eight of Swords here? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Star. It's just about being true to yourself. The Six of Swords, I didn't mention that, but this for me as, as a reader is my spiritual test and transition card. You learned the lesson. It was difficult, but it made you wiser. And now you're moving forward with success. We have the Nine and the Ten of Cups here. This is my near future energy. So this is like the present, the future. Um, so you're moving on. <laughs> and the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups says wherever you've moved on is going to be of value. You're going to be respected. So um, there's a set, ah, there's the Two of Swords and there's the Hermit. They were blocking you. Maybe they were blocking your potential. Maybe someone was stealing from you. Someone was lying to you, but there was this block here and no more will you allow this block. You're completely walking away from that and you're just moving on. This is what I see. You're chasing your happiness because your happiness matters too. And that's when you get this treasure island. But look at all these emotions. That means that, you know, the Queen of Cups energy in reverse cap. It means it's been a difficult transition, um, but you're finally getting your pot of gold here. Um, and the star is just wish fulfillment, dreams come true. So is the nine of cups. So you've made the right decision. You're moving in the right direction. You're completely turning your back on the past. There's your balance. There's your celebration after the tower, after the tower moment comes the healing, comes the star, right? So, um, you're going to be celebrating because the, the, but there's the tower. You might've had to move. The tower is a move card, but there's your independence. So, um, like I said, you weren't being valued and now you are, <laughs> you want to say anything else about this walking away from. Yeah. Everything that you've been waiting for is coming through. There's the king of cups. If this is love, you got your king. Whoa. If this is business, you got your ten of pentacles. Whichever way, this is emotional satisfaction and fulfillment here. Whichever situation is applying to you, cap. There's the four of cups and the page of pentacles. So withdrawing from this led to you to a brand new opportunity. Doing what was best for you was given your Ten of Pentacles. So this is generational wealth, generational love, happiness, fulfillment. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, okay? So all we can say is cha-ching, cha-ching, and emotional cha-ching. So you're getting what you want here. It's been a very, very difficult transition, but applaud yourself, you know, pat yourself on the back. <laughs> Give yourself a round of applause because you made it through those hard times and the good times are coming through here. There's the devil. There you are as the Empress again living in the empress energy and the empress is a very comfortable that's what this pillow represents she's comfortable in her life she's successful she makes things happen people don't value her bye i'll make it happen for myself i don't need you i can do what i want and that's the energy that you are in capricorn let's get you a few oracle messages and then we'll find out where you are in a month from now how this is going how you're feeling how you're doing um so i hope you're enjoying your reading <laughs> let's see what you need to surrender to spirit guides your addictions. So whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, overworking, overthinking, take action and heal the addiction to replace it with healthier alternatives. So let's get your soul card. What is the soul card for Capricorn? Well, that kind of flew. Hold on a second. I hope it didn't fall in a puddle because there's a lot of snow here today. Talk to your angels. It didn't stay dry. Instead of worrying, yeah, ask for divine guidance. There is no need to worry. You're on the right path. You're making the right choice. Your angels are guiding you. So silence that mind and listen to your higher self, your source self, your spirit guides, and let them guide you through this difficult transition. What is the energy oracle message? Angel of love. Anything else you want to say with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see. Man holding a pentacle and envy. So... There is this fear of stability being taken from you or you're, maybe with the tower, your stability was pulled out from underneath you. I'm Capricorn Venus. I get it. I need that stability. I, I get really anxious if I'm not stable. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, but this is about self-love. Look at her looking at her heart. When you love yourself, when you show yourself compassion, the world blesses you with compassion. There is an offer. So it could be from a king of pentacles or... Um, it's just saying you're in the king of pentacles mode. Don't worry about that stability. The universe isn't going to put you in a position that you can't handle and they're not going to take it away for long. A lot of the time it's just our worry 
that makes us feel unstable, but we really have the resources around us to make that stability happen. And with envy, it's focusing on the golden city, not on the black. So envy can sometimes be worrying about, um, I mean, it could be just being envious of other people, right? Looking at other people's lives and wondering why it's better or why this, that, that, and the other thing. But the fact is nobody's life is perfect. Everybody has stuff going on. Some people are just really good at hiding it. Sometimes you don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but everybody has problems. Everybody has obstacles. The point of the card is not to let them get you down. You can stay in this black energy of sorrow, or you can just, you know, follow the yellow brick road and take the, 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 less, the path less traveled and see the beautiful blessings, the opportunities that are in front of you and see that you are the king of pentacles. And again, if it's a job or a love offer, here they are putting their heart out there, putting that offer of money out there for you. But self-love is the message here. And when you love yourself and you come from the heart, you will always have that stability. It's when we're in the wrong spot that that gets taken away from us. The universe gives us a little punch in the face and guides us to the right spot. So don't be envious. Don't have resentments. Don't feel like it's not going to work out because it is. What is the soul lesson here? Worry. Yeah. So how many times can I say that or can it come up in a reading? I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Worry actually manifests what you're worrying about. Like someone who's constantly worrying, the things they're worrying about are going to start coming in their life because that's what they're seeing. That's what they're thinking. So remove that anxiety from your mind and have faith. There is nothing to worry about here. And what is happening to let go of? If it's worry again, like holy camoly. <laughs> let go of the idea <laughs> that you need anything other than happiness in your life. Because when you follow your heart, you will always be happy. Let's get your potential outcome, Kat. So when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, it's where are you in a month? Has that Ten of Pentacles arrived and stayed? Are there any challenges or obstacles we need to know about? Is there, you know, if this is love, is there someone else popping into your life? What do we need to know here for Kat? Spirit guys, there's your new beginning. So you're, you're free. I just, yeah, I get this. Okay, hold on. Let's get it. The Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles. There's a six of swords again. One more because I like five. I like five. Yeah, the knight of swords in reverse. Okay. And there's the three of wands. So there's the star. Your dreams are coming true. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Um, but it's not moving so quick because the knight of swords is in reverse, which means you're not like flying. You're not going from zero to ten, but that's good. You're investing in yourself. You're investing in this new beginning. The seven of pentacles means you're starting to see the fruit. He's got his little tree here, right? He's planted the seeds wisely, intelligently. He's taking control. The emperor is what's anchoring this. This is boss energy. This is an energy of determination, an energy to get what you want, an energy that knows that your investments are paying off. The six of swords, again, is moving forward. So you're still in that forward movement. You're moving on. I do want to clarify that Knight of Swords because I just mean, I, th I feel like it's not moving as quickly as you want. The Three of Swords, the uh, Three of Wands tells me you're still kind of waiting a little bit. What do you want to say about that? The Page of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Death. Some of you might have to go to school or spruce up on a course, um, but you're still at the, you're still in your transition here. So Death is still here. So the, this is a difficult transition, but you're on your way to your Ten of Cups and your Page of Swords. I do feel some of you, you know, maybe had to read read, write, study, uh, do something in that area, but you're almost there. So what you're waiting for is coming. There's your star and there's your page of cups. There's the opera. There it is. So you're, you're on your path, um, but you're still in the middle of the transitional period. <laughs> there's the magician. A lot of new beginnings here. A lot of changes, Kat. You're going to like where you're going. For those of you where you got to study, you're studying. Um, and those, for those of you where it's um, like a relationship, you know, you're still getting to know this person before you jump into, you know, a permanent situation. You're planting your seeds, you're dating, you're talking, you're getting to know them. But you have this sense of freedom, a sense of relief. Um, I don't see worry here. There's no cards of worry here. Um, so there's just an essence that it's not going as fast as you want, but sometimes that's just how it goes. So the death and transition means it's difficult. It's not easy. But again, no matter who we are, we always have problems. We can focus on the dead bodies here. Or we can focus on our happiness. And that's what they want you to focus on to keep trucking, keep moving forward, keep going towards what you want. Um, and again, if you have to study, take a course. Don't be afraid to do that. The world of 2023 has like millions of online courses for you. <laughs> it's very convenient to improve a skill if you need to improve your skill. So Kat, that's what I have. So in a month's time, you're feeling free. You're relieved of that worry. You're starting to see things progress and go forward. You know, you're at like stage seven or eight here. You're bossing up. You're moving on. Things are going and you're happy. That's what I have. 
I truly wish you the best of luck. And the three of wands says if this is career or business, your planning has worked. Like you, you set the seeds properly, right? It's not in reverse. So this is like the card of your, your ships are about to come through. Let's just say that. So let's get your final message here to close this off, Cap. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. So thank you. And your final message is there's a, there, sorry. There are days I drop words of comfort on myself like falling leaves and remember that it is enough to be taken care of by myself. So schedule 15 minutes in a day for your favorite hobby or activity with no objective other than to bring yourself pleasure. I wish you the best of luck, Cap. Until next time.